welcome back to my channel if you are new here i'm caroline and i wanted to do a what i got for christmas video i got so many cute items i will say i don't think any of them were surprises i definitely just have control problems when it comes to gifts i like send everyone links of what i want so none of them really surprises, but I did get amazing items that I'm so excited about that I love so much that I've already been wearing because I'm filming this on the 28th. So I've had a couple days to wear everything, but please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get started with what I got. All right, I'm going to start with shoes. So first I got these little, I think they're the ultra mini Uggs or the mini Uggs in chestnut. A uh, nice hack, you can get a kid size six and it's the equivalent of an adult eight if you didn't know that already. You can also do that for like Nike Air Force and Jordan too. So kid six, they fit me so well. They are so, getting new Uggs, like the inside is just like a cloud. It's so nice. I wore these when I ran errands today. They're just so nice. It's like 30 degrees outside and it's perfect just to throw these on, run your errands. And I still, I mean, I think they're cute. I definitely went through a phase of like 10 years where I was horrified of Uggs. But I'm coming back around to them and I honestly just like don't care at this point what people think of me. So I got these that I'm so excited about. They came just in time because the low tomorrow is 19 degrees, which like I'm in Georgia. That's a lot for me. And then I also got these Adidas. I think they're the NMDs. I got these from my in-laws. How fabulous are these? They kept selling out. My mother-in-law was like, it was so stressful to get these, but super cute. Definitely go down half a size. I read a ton of reviews. I'm an eight, eight's like my safe size. And I get like an eight and a half in Nike because they definitely run small, but I got a seven and a half and I definitely have a little bit of room in the Adidas. So super cute. I'll link them down below. I believe you can also find these like Foot Locker if they're sold out on Adidas. But I mean, how freaking cute are these? Next, I got a little trial size of the YSL Libra. I have commitment issues to perfumes. I have a couple that I love. I have the Burberry Her right now and the Kat Von D Saint. Absolutely love. And I have them all in these little sizes. I don't know. I just can't commit to one. I just like to mix it up. Oh my God, this smells so so good i don't know how to describe it i'll link it down below and then you can just like look at the notes that they have just get on sephora they're pretty good at describing everything but this is just such a nice like not overly mature but i would definitely say it's like a warmer scent like definitely good for the fall and winter months so i got a little mini of this and I got is Kristen Cavallari's new cookbook. I have her original one. This is the second one. I believe the first one is gluten-free, dairy-free, refined sugar-free. This one is gluten-free, refined sugar-free. And I am so excited for this. First of all, it looks beautiful, stunning. It looks great with the coloring of my apartment, the color scheme, all of that. But also this one just seems more user-friendly. Like I'm definitely no chef. I, like it takes a lot for me to pick up a cookbook and try something new. And this just really excites me to try something new. I have a gluten intolerance, so I definitely have to use these recipes. I can't just pick up like Jesse James's cookbook I was kind of interested in, and then it was like literally all carbs and all flour, and that's just not realistic for me. So this one definitely had more items that were up my alley, more user-friendly, and not as intimidating, I feel like, as her original one. Got another Urban Outfitters oversized graphic tee. This is now my fourth one i get the large extra large and i can wear it i mean i did wear it as a dress one time my other one but it's more of just like a casual like cool girl look it's funny I, my in-laws got me this and i sent them a photo of what i wanted with the sizing and my mother-in-law was like surely you don't want a large extra large like that's not your size and i was like no 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 it's oversized i promise that's what i want so i've been wanting this one honestly ever since i came out but since i have three they're not they're like 40 dollars, which i know is such a ripoff for like a ripped up t-shirt but i honestly wanted to buy this myself but self-control so she got this for me i absolutely love this color and i believe it comes in like a gray color too they really expanded all the oversized t-shirts that they have at urban outfitters my next two items are more like sentimental so my grandma got me this little dog snow globe that it's like the dog nativity scene it is so cute i mean look at that I love that. She knows I love dogs. Literally, if I could like own a shelter, I would. So my grandma gave me this. Oh, it winds up. I'm not gonna do that right now. <laughs> I don't know what it sounds like. And then my in-laws also got me. So it's a Yankee candle, but they did a photo from last Christmas. If you can see that, they put that and customized it on the back of the candle. And it is a warm luxe cashmere. I'm assuming you can just like do this on the Yankee candle website. 
I'm sure if you just like Google Yankee Candle like custom, it comes up, but that is just so sweet. I actually did this for an engagement gift. I went on Etsy, I put their engagement photo in there. It got sent to me just like as a sticker. And then I put it on one of my favorite candles and gave that as an engagement gift. So definitely a great idea. If you know someone wants something more personal or just like sentimental, they like the sentimental things in life. This is definitely a great idea. I have some ColourPop makeup, big shocker. I also got some money and Starbucks gift cards, which I've already used some of, but I'm not gonna like put that on the screen, who cares? But I got the Mandalorian palette. I wanted this so badly. It sold out so quickly, but it came back. I just love Baby Yoda. My husband watches Mandalorian. I'll kind of watch. I've never seen Star Wars, honestly. I really don't care about that stuff, but I just think Baby Yoda is the freaking cutest. I'll open this palette. I mean, I'd actually use the colors in this. I kind of just got it as like a, to be a collector's situation, but then the colors are like pretty wearable. So look at that, it's so cute. And then it has a little child on top, it's so cute. So I really just wanted it because I thought it was cute. And then I also really wanted ColourPop's collab with No Kill LA. They are just two little shadows. One actually like kind of shattered, if you can tell, but it's just two shadows. I believe they still have this available on the website. The colors are Feline Good and Good Boy. So the benefits, benefits, what's the word? The money, <laughs> profits, hello. The profits go to No Kill LA, which again, I love animals. It's super important to me. Um, I need to find a shelter around here because I used to donate all the time when I was at UGA to an Athens shelter and bring them a ton of supplies. And then whenever I spent, my parents would match that and donate as well. So I need to find somewhere around Atlanta, Buckhead, Midtown. Like if you know anywhere, please comment down below. I mean, obviously there's a humane society, but if you know like any type of more like shelter pound types, let me know. But I really wanted these because the profits go to No Kelle, so that was super important to me. If you watch my channel, this is not a new item. You've seen the videos. This was technically a Christmas gift. It was my husband's gift to me, my gift to myself. We share finances, so like, is it really a gift from him at this point? But I got the YSL Medium Lulu and I did a whole video on it, a whole unboxing. I'll link that down below as well. I am in love with this bag. Like it is such a good size. It's just such a nice bag, very expensive. I will say it's whew, in a hurt. It's my first YSL bag and like probably my last, but this was my only Christmas present from my husband, which of course like, Ooh, let me show you what I got him real quickly and then I'll wrap up the video. Last item, I promise this time. So I got Patrick, it is our wedding song, our first dance song on a plaque. Honestly, I wish I had looked around Etsy more. I think there are ones that looked a little better, not as cheap as this one, but it's like the song on Spotify is how it looks. It's cute, it's sentimental, it's sweet. He always forgets what our song was, so a little reminder. Um, but they have a ton of these on Etsy. I'll link this one down below, but definitely look around. I wish I did more research because there were ones that looked a lot nicer than this, but I mean, you get the point. Super cute, something unique, and it seems sweet. We have it on our bar cart right now, just leaning on it, and I don't know, it's just really a cute, thoughtful gesture. If you have like a song with your significant other or spouse, like everyone I feel like has that song so it's a really good idea all right that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy please subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video